Hi, uh, my name is Lisa Fitzpatrick. I'm here with the Mountain City Council Learning Directory and today we're going to be creating some uh, frottage art. Frottage art is a surrealist drawing technique. Um, today we're going to be using a leaf uh, to create some uh, frottage art. So I'm going to demonstrate uh, that now by placing my leaf under the paper and for this particular drawing, I'm going to be using uh, warm colours. They are red. So we're just making a quick rubbing. Going to use a little bit of orange as well. Okay. Uh, I'm going to now just lift my page and move my leaf over just a little bit. Um, can see it brings out the texture of the leaves. Uh, it shows all okay. what I'm demonstrating is I thought it'd be nice if we uh, made like a, a little landscape and um, that's why I'm lining them next to each other and um, using different heights and to make them look like little trees. Um, you can use any type of leaf, any, any leaf that has texture. Um, have a look around your home and see if you can find objects which have um, textured surface that you could make rubbings with. Um, <clears throat> okay. I'm going to add uh, some clouds now using this um, cardboard cutout, okay, uh, which I just sort of found in my craft box. Okay. Some blue, some darker blue. Okay, begin along. Now some purple. Just sort of mixing all these colors together. Make clouds. Okay, so here is my uh, frottage art uh, little trees using leaves with some clouds. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a go, it's not just the leaves, have a look around um, the bits of wire that you can use. Um, if you have any stencils, you could use them as well. Foam, any sort of foam, anything raised. You could even make your own by gluing it down onto cardboard. Um, money, uh, the coins are great too to make rubbings with. Um, yeah, you can sort of explore um, different uh, objects and um, different themes if you like to do numbers or letters uh, you could do that as well so there's lots of different um, things that you could use to to draw to make um, textured uh, frottage art. For this drawing um, I'm going to be using compressed charcoal and uh, I'm using some objects which I found at home um, so have a look around and see if you can find little bits of wire. Um, I chose this one, it's got the circular, the circular sort of texture pattern on it here. I thought it'd be great to make a rubbing with. So to do that, I'm laying it down underneath my paper. Um, yeah, using charcoal this time. And what I'm doing is I'm just dragging it along. Okay, like that. Um, yeah, really love how the texture shows through with um, this bit of wire here. Um, if you have any um, foam shapes you know, laying around, um, try and give them a go. Just really just experiment and just and see what you can find and um, play around with just, um, different bits of card even. It you know, creates you know, interesting lines. Uh, 
here we have this would be great this reminds me of um, this here sort of reminds me of a building so you could even make it like a little city if you wanted to just yeah it just it really helps just explore some ideas and get some designs in so yeah okay with the uh, compressed charcoal you can also um, use a tissue if you wanted to and you know just rub back into your work as well um, just like this um, okay you could even uh, draw back into it lift it back out so using your eraser you know if you wanted to you know sort of add a bit more lighter just rub back into those areas as well to just really sort of explore different things, draw back into it if you wanted to as well. Um, you know, to create an interesting design, a pattern. You can buy charcoal from art supply stores uh, online. Uh, this is a compressed charcoal. Okay, I'm going to be creating another um, frottage drawing rubbing uh, using a different leaf and a different color uh, color theme we're going to be using cool colors this time um, if you're at home and uh, you can ha also have a play around with some warm and cool colors or choose your own color theme for your for your rubbings um, so with the cool colors here i'm using some blues some purple um, you can mix those colours together as well, uh, if you like to. Okay. So yeah, so now I'm going to create another, using my leaves as trees again. Just getting all those different shades in, greens and blues and purples. Um, yeah, you can use the side of your, this is a wax crayon that I'm using. Um, you can use the wax crayon. Also pencils work as well. So if you have a coloured pencil at home, try that um, as well. Uh, use your side uh, of your crayon to make that rubbing. Okay, so For today's demonstration, I've used a warm and cool colour uh, colour scheme. Um, feel free to use, explore those colours if yourself, okay, or choose your own colour scheme to create your own frottage art. Yeah, so with the, uh, what we could do is even um, use, going back to a wire, we can, you know, it's really up to you, you can just experiment. Um, you could uh, use uh, your stencils as well um, and uh, using just a coloured pencil, we can draw back in and, and add, you know, textures and and detail and um, rubbings on on top as well. Uh, really, sort of explore. It's really up to you on on what you'd like to create here. Uh, yeah. Just using the foam and we can trace around that just you know with the pencil um, so yeah we can go underneath or we can just you know use our objects to trace around as well to create interesting art feel free to use whatever you have at home um, to create your art just explore experiment and have fun Hi everybody, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching uh, the demonstrations. I um, hope you've learned some different techniques. I um, hope it's inspired you to create some of your own work. Uh, please check out the Mountain City Council Learning Directory Facebook uh, website for more classes.